Hi, Brian. Uh, we just heard what you had to say backstage. Uh, me and the big guy, my friend, he's uh, Festus here. He's, uh, we've had a little chat. And to your answer about one in a match with Festus at King of the Throne, I don't see why not, but that's uh, Festus's choice. I mean, he, he, uh, he told me he accepts. You, do you accept, big guy? Right? Anyway, um, I don't know why you have a problem with, uh, I don't know why he has a problem with us, man, but, I mean, it was just being smart, you know? Do you accept this challenge? All right, cool. You got your answer. And we got a little deal going on. You see, the deal is, if you want to fight Festus the King of the Throne, there's only one condition. If next show, you bring out any superstar of the Rebellion locker room to come out, and so Festus can challenge them to a match. You can pick the guy, but Festus is going to fight that guy that you pick. So Festus can prove that he has what it takes to beat you and to be on your level. And Braun, no offense. I mean no offense when I say this, but you call yourself the monster of all monsters. Nah. My friend here, Festus, he's going to be the next one and only monster of all monsters when he beats you at King of the Throne. And you know why that is? It's because we are the future of this great industry, whether you like it or not. We are going to be singles or tag champs, whatever unfolds for us. He's got, you've got more to lose than he has. It's his debut match, so what? No big deal, but for you, it's going to be an embarrassing loss when he beats you again the throne. And man, I hope you find the right guy big enough to fight this man next week.